Welcome to episode two of this Let's Play series. My name is Daz Tactic. Welcome to the channel. Hope you've been enjoying the series so far. We haven't really got into any fights yet. Hopefully, this episode. <laughs> We're really just setting things up. I've got to make sure I get all of the... Well, look, not all, but I need to get like good water units across to here, good uh, mountain units back into here, and our main attack group moving into this side. So I've actually got that now set up. So let's just zoom back in and have another look at this. Uh, if we have a look at the actual troops, I'll just do a very, very quick summary. Uh, we'll just go to units rather than, and then I'll just talk about each one. So three dragons plus a magic user. We've got 15 points left over. I could have switched something else out, but these are quite good coming in late. Now, one thing I wouldn't have minded was a healer uh, back into here. So I'm sending this one across with the dragons. I'm sending this one across with another dragon. Uh, and that's going to then also then have the abilities with the uh, with two healer units. I don't have any healers. This is actually a big negative for my whole faction. I've only got one healer unit and I've moved him off somewhere else. So I would have liked to have had a healer unit coming in with the actual stacks, but we, that's not, the, not, not to be at this point in time. Uh, so we're moving in just a mixture of different support units back in through here, like an archer unit back in there as well. The other one that's moving in with them as well is, um, is Kate the Rogue. And so again, she's got mainly just sort of support units really just to roll things up at the back end of things. So I'm moving her across. She's an interesting one. If I go back to classes, she's one that I was considering moving across to something else. But um, when I have a look at her, she's got very high strength agility, intelligence, and mobility. So she's she's very high in, in, I mean, essentially mobility comes out of agility anyway, I think, but these are all very, very high stats. And so I can actually have her switch to anything I like. And at the moment, she's from the dancer type. This is sort of like our rogue types. And so she's a rogue at the moment because she's over level 10. And she's, she's got proficiencies in, uh, she doesn't have proficiencies in any of those. Magic wise, she does have gravity and ability wise, she has double movement. Now she takes that no matter where she goes. And I was thinking, do I change her back to being a cleric? And if I did that, she goes back to level one there, like a basic cleric. Uh, she does get to keep, like you can see this is from rogue through to cleric. She since, tends to sort of keep all that there. She does keep venom. Uh, she then gets heal, cure and halo as well. She then gets the um, the skills, all she has a lot is a light swing, but she would then become a, um, she would not be a frontline fighter. Uh, and then the stats do go down a fair bit, but that wouldn't matter much. It wouldn't matter much because she would still do everything that we needed her to do. You know, like the actual, um, she'd have more magic points to spend. Actually, her hit points go up a little bit being a cleric as well. It's sort of one of these things, if I can get her into there, then get her leveled up to healer mode, that would be very, very useful. I think I might do that, you know. I think we might do that. So we take her away from Rogue. It's sort of one of these things. The other prob the other thing we could have done was to make her a hunter as well, to get like some archery. Um, but we do need to get more healers, in the, in, particularly with our main our main attack stack. So I'm going to go yes. Now I can always change it back if I don't, if I don't like it. I've, always, I've already got the proficiency. This is a really cool aspect of the game, by the way. So she's now just a basic... Um, basic cleric and the next level up for her will be will be uh, healer will be where she'll be wanting to try to get to that will then give her other sort of skill sets by all means when you're playing the game have a bit of a look I can always go back to dancer and I can always go and pick pick rogue that's still available to me uh, so I already have essentially gone that far there but switching them across into different areas the other thing I could have done was to send her across to be a hunter and I can swap and change these whenever I like so she's available to do that as well where she would then have archery but I'm thinking I need support uh, in the actual in the main army because this is going to be quite hard. Um, the other character that we have, so so that's the group that's going off. So she's just got like a range of different sorts of support groups coming back in with her. I've left her going to. Uh, so Sugar is actually one of these interesting ones where she's an enchantress, which means that she's a magic user, but she um, doesn't have the intelligence to do. Even this, <laughs> she's got very low intelligence. So she's found herself as an enchantress. But if I go to any of the other class types, that's all she can be because that's all she is. She's useless. She is beyond useless. 
So she's not somebody that we really want to be sort of, uh, we won't worry too much about her anyway. I've got her moving off. To, she's just going to shuffle units around. So she's um, she doesn't have the intelligence to do anything. She doesn't have the, the strength. She doesn't have the um, intelligence, the dexterity, the agility. If the agility is not too bad. That's the one thing that she does actually have. Anyway, who knows? Over time, she may be. She, we may find a role for her. So that, that's the group that I've moved off. I've moved her to the north um, to uh, with the uh, with the high lizard man, Baylor, to then go and support the attacks in the north and. Um, I've sent this group across to go and fight in the mountains because these are all mountain fighters. Um, I've sent this one also to the mountains, I think, from memory. I think that that's gone off to the mountains. I just needed to get some dragons across there as well, so I've sent one across that way. And that's it. So that's it for the capital there. Other interesting ones that we actually have available to us is that we've still got... Um, at, uh, I've got a lot of forces coming in here, more than what I need. But that's going to allow me then to go in, into my um, quests. And sorry, that just had a phone call. That is my normal work time at this point in time. So we've got Patricia. Uh, sorry, we've got Conrad, who is um, who is basically back over at this location with a with a full group ready to sort of uh, protect this region with another dragon here as well, actually. So he's actually nicely set up. Now what I think I might do, because I've got so many different forces coming into this location, I'm going to, uh, I've moved this one off down to the other location where they need to get the mountain troops working with the mountains. Uh, but this one here, I'm just going to send him off uh, to quests. So I'll send him back into the Isle of Linu uh, again. Uh, so I'll just go K and then K there. So he's now off on a quest. But I've got so many different forces now coming back through. Um, now that's I've still got one more I think that we have to sort of deal with yeah this one down in here I've got uh, I've got hardly any mana reserves left I've spent them all on units now uh, so we'll just go across into troops so I've got this dancer now she's also interesting if I just go to this one here and go to class she's a um, she's a level 7 dancer and uh, I could make her into a hunter to just to, just to get the uh, the other level ups. So we have a look at us. If we click on hunter as a, as a starting point, we then can sort of compare it across to this side. We do have less magic, but we don't need much more. The defense goes down, but then she's further away from the attacks. Um, everything else, the agility goes up a little bit, and her preferred terrain then becomes forest, which is still okay. Uh, we just go back to skills. So is it this, she doesn't take any of these skills with her. The magic, she still keeps Venom, and the abilities, she's got evasion uh, already from where she is. So I'm thinking that um, that we actually move her across as a, um, uh, sorry, as Hunter, yeah, just with these in, in through, in, uh, to across as a Hunter. I think that she'll actually be more valuable that way. So let's go and set her up there. Just go yes. So that then changes her proficiencies, or her abilities. And because we don't have any hunters either, so that's actually one of the other things. And so we'll now just go back out and we'll go to quests. And Diana in through here. Now she doesn't have any real abilities, that she has the hunter. Uh, maybe I should have left that off for, for one more turn. Um, I could, I could keep her here. There's not really any great value, you know. I think what we might do is move her north as well. So let's just go and move her. So just go K. Oh, hang on, this is quest. We don't want to do that. Because it's so poor where she currently is. Um, you know, I could send her back to the capital as well. It may be another thing that we do and actually then get her to pick up sort of the troops that we may need to shuffle around the battlefield. So if we just go across to move... I've got enough going into the other locations, just press K, and uh, we'll just send her down into Gaga, because everyone's moving away from Gaga. Press K again, that's now got the moves going. And just to, uh, at the end of the turn, just to sort of see what's going on, very quickly you get used to who needs to be sort of left in standby, ready for the attacks. We won't be doing any attacks this turn, I'll just press H. So we've got quests, if we just click on status and moves with the knight selected, Everyone's on move except for one quest. All right, so we're not, not doing too many quests this turn. Just setting everything else up. So we'll end the phase. In there. Now, in the attack phase, you'll see that the forces have now come into these locations. 
They've got 13,000 there. Um, 13,000 in through there. And we've now got 13,000 protecting it, but with four units. So we've, it's not really optimized. We can only use three to do the defense. So it's not great. Now I can't shuffle them around. Like if I click in there, I can look at the base info, but I can't actually shuffle units. So I can just sort of see what I've got. Now I've got a fair bit of protection there, but I've got I've got th this one here that's come in, like Pat the Bard Patricia, really just hasn't got enough. She's only level two, but there's not enough there for, to her she wouldn't be part of the fight. So she's not really gonna, like it would have to be the, the fence done with all of these other guys, which would still be strong enough, I think. Uh, we've got a, a fairly good good sort of selection of, of units there for that particular location. Uh, let's just go back across in through, uh, over to here. This one, we've only got our attack force back in through here. So if we have a look at this one at the base info. So these have now all arrived. These are our strongest units, ready ready for the attacks in the next in the next phase. So uh, and we've still got one more unit floating around there. Maybe I should have moved a unit to go and pick up that one there. Um, just right click. So we, I don't really have any attacks that I can do. And I've got the four now that I've actually added into here with one away. I've got five here ultimately. So if I click back in here and look at the base info, we've now got. Not very strong units, but we won't need very strong units. We'll be able to reshuffle things again fairly soon and then send her off to do other things as well. So, um, and then we've still got the other one on the quest. So ultimately that's gonna be fairly strong, uh, very, very strong protections with that river that sort of runs in through there. We'll be able to defend against the river. So, but 10,000 in there at this point in time, but it's, this is weak, but we should be able to still defend fairly well because of the, um, the terrain. Okay, well, um, that's where we're starting. <laughs> Let's just see how we go. We'll just end our phase here. Nothing we can really do. And we're getting story screenings on the sister Leanne. Oh, good, a healer. A healer, healer. This is excellent. I've been a humble servant of the rune god. I never once thought about joining the war. However, one day I started her campaign, had a strange dream of work, gifted the strength of a rune knight. My dream of garden shaped in the land of Renesia. It's filled with roses. Um, blah, 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 blah. This is, uh, we've happened to pick up somebody here. So she's now an ally. She's now one of our rune knights. So I'm hoping she's a healer. We do need healers. You can see there, there was a fourth one that arrived there. Conrad failed. He was the only one that we had sent off. Organization phase. This is now the third season. So now we can start to sort of see potential attacks coming in. Now we've got 15,000 against an attack here of only 3,000, sorry, 11,000. This is what we want to be sending off. Now, Angela has come in. Now we've got a bit of a dilemma, I think, because if we look at our troops and look at the units, we now she's come in with, uh, and she, oh, she's an enchantress. All right, well, we can make better use of her in other locations. She's got 52 left over. We've got 35 there. So I might as well throw that one across into there. So we just get, at least that one sort of then gets set up. And she's very, very strong in the water. So we might move her across, back across to the water areas. Now this first uh, attack that we're going to be then doing is um, we are going to be leaving three of the troops in through this side. So I'm just going to go across and... Um, issue with what she's got there let's just go and move her the new the new, anyone new like this will actually end up being where our uh, where our leader is so i'm just going to we'll just move them across to this location again she's ideal for this location so she moves by the way there was another one that i did move across in this location as well if we have a look at the troops and the units we've got a um we've got a temple knight which is Rose, and you can see through here, her preferred terrain is Swamp. So she also has incredible abilities back and through here. Here's our only native healer, Bishop Avenir. I wouldn't mind him going back to help out with the others. Um, and we can only have three protecting what we have. I'm thinking, I forgot any other, no, that's the only dragon we actually have. So she's now moved this one in, 55. And that 28 there. I might pause again, and then that way I can just sort of reshuffle and then re-send other units off. She's definitely got to stay in this location. Like, that's an absolute must. Um, in fact, if we have a look at the quest, it might be interesting to sort of see what the different um, different sorts of abilities are for each of these different units. If we have a look and just hover over, we can see that she's actually good at the Rumi Valley. So her um, Temple Knight 
ability, I think, sort of helps help in that in that regard. So we'll be wanting some of these to go off. Avenir is good in the Isle of Limu as well. Um, he is not good at anything, and Sugar is not going to be any good at anything. This is the, this is their skill levels. I do need to get these guys trained up, so I might as well even train them up here. I would just offload their forces. That still leaves just three of them ready to to, to defend. I would like to go off because there's a chance to pick up a another rune knight. So maybe we do leave Marcosius off. We have Sugar go back in. Let's just get her uh, trained. And Avenir. Sent Avenir off to... Um, Avenir doesn't pick up much. So if he does pick up anything, there's a good chance it'll be another character. These are the rune knights are by, heart, by far the most difficult. So we'll just go to the Isle of Limu. Okay, so that just leaves three now defending. If we just go back to troops. So he's now taking these away. So we want to now switch things around a little bit and open open up um, what can actually happen through here. Let's go to units. Ultimately, I'm going to need to get some in there. Move that one back. It's 39. He's also there with 60. I'll just shuffle these around. Some more lizard men. We definitely want this one up. In one of these as well. So if we move that one there, just slightly over. Now I've got these units in here, I've only got one point there, but nine, that'll be twenty-five. 25 will then give me this one. Oopsie. So got 14 there, which is okay. That then evens things out. I can always put stuff in here, but then I can't use them for the actual fights. Um, if we've got this one going off on a quest, what I might do is just move these down. Level 1. That's all we can do there. They might as well level up as well. So we'll just give them some, some more experience. This one doesn't matter what he takes into the actual quest. All right, that gives us a really strong grouping now to sort of then go and protect the um, protect that location. Um, okay, anyway, look, I'll just pause and have a quick look through and just come back and report. And I now have to keep units. I can move them around, but I, I, I have to sort of, if I'm, if I'm not moving, I have to keep them on standby to protect against what, anything that's coming through. So we've got a weaker number, but we have the right units in that location. Look, I've just changed her back to being a dancer again because it gives her better chances with the uh, with these missions in through the side. And I might go with the top one there, so we'll just go and grab that one there. This is back at the home at the hometown. Um, I think one gets that one sorted. The only other one we I think we have to really worry about now is um, is back here at Drowan. Now we've only got four units, which means we have to keep some back there. Uh, let's have a quick look at the troops and the units. We've got 14 left there. Now, it's, um, if I had 40, I could sort of move that one. 45 is not enough. That one, this guy here at 17, I do actually have a bit of abilities to shuffle things around there a little bit, if required. I've got to send one of them off. I want the dragons, so I've got two dragons. I'd probably keep these three where they are. Actually, what I might have a quick look at is just who can um, who can go off to the quest here. Yeah, I've got threes all the way across. She's she's no good, so she's be we're better off keeping her back to defend and send one of these other guys off. All three of them, they're all knights, or you know, it's essentially fighters. And so the Aria Great Plains actually does work. He's got the best chance of picking things up. So we might send him off, I think. He's a level 19. Yeah, he's going to be the best the best shot. So we'll send him off that way. And um, 
That way Patricia then has to be set up now to defend this location. So we'll go back to troops. So he's not his troops are not going to be available for defence, which means that we have to um, have to shuffle things down. So we're definitely going to need to move things around a little bit. Um, I think we want this dragon down. But what do we switch it out for? We're 46 over. Which means I've got to move this one off. I don't really have much a bit more ability. 39 under there. We've got 22 points there that we can do. 17 points in here. I've got an 85 and a 65. It's not going to quite work. Um, uh, 65, 75. If I switch them over, that gives him a 32. Which then does. I'm just trying to get some of these these bigger units back in if we can. There's a 50 for a 40, but I think I'm gonna, the healing would be quite useful. I can bring a 30 down straight away. 85 is not going to do it, not going to cut it. We're going to be three over. 60 is not going to cut it either. I can do that one. I can switch that one for the healer, but I think I'm going to need the healer unit. Yeah, I think, I think that's what we're going to have to do. So I think I'll just move this one down. It's not great. Anyway, <laughs> that'll do. So he's still, he's still got a very, very powerful stack going off to this quest. Hopefully we won't be attacked. Um, right, well, um, that's about all we need to do at this time. We've got, um, we've got everyone sort of now ready and waiting to start the attacks. Now they can still move forces to try to then sort of uh, shade us from at this location. Um, see how we go. Phase. Twelve thousand in there, thirteen thousand there. That's okay. We've still got enough there, I think, to hold on in that location. Um, this one here, we've got fifteen against eleven. It's, this is not a problem. So we're just going to go attack. We're going to grab all, so I can just go Y to select all. Uh, K to confirm. <coughs> And then we just move across. That's the only location we can actually go off to attack. So we just click on that one. We then get the arrow. I can now right click and go back out. So we're going to be attacking into their territory now for the first time. Uh, this will be another choke point. It'll just give us one more location where we can start to pick up some things. Everyone else is actually okay. I don't need to really be doing much else. Just about four units there. I should have, something else has happened in there. Um, that's all okay, let's uh, end the phase. So when we end the attack phase, um, what happens is the attacks play out and then the people come back from their quests. So this is us attacking. So we've got definitely a, a big advantage in here and we can sort of see what they've actually got. So they've got like a, they've got angels, which have got like fairly good attacks and a little bit of healing. So they're actually quite nice units to actually have. They've got a healers in through this side. So the defender is um, from Mana Silesia, which is the, which is the location. She looks to be like a healer type unit. Uh, we then have, um, yeah, weak units, defensive units with a strong attack unit there, but really not much attack. So this will be interesting to sort of see here this one plays out. And this is going to take a couple of turns, a couple of episodes, I think, just to get through this one. This will be a, our first big battle. So I do want to explain what's going on with this. So strap yourselves in. This is awesome. This part of the game, this is the third part of the game. So the tactical, the sort of the strategic layer is actually very, very cool. Uh, you can see through here, we're coming along this road into this location. We saw there before that there's all big open plains with some areas where there's some some uh, forest areas so we've got like a a group that has got a little bit of forest abilities a little bit of flying abilities um yeah a bit of a mixture of, of everything except for water we don't have any water abilities with our group so what we want to do is we want to have a is usually going to be where it's, you've got like three layouts it doesn't matter that much but it, it can help a little bit so let's just go press a there b there with muha and c way at the back there with uh, kate it will be fine Sure you want to deploy these troops? Yes, we do. And we'll see that Kate is definitely now a hero unit, just with the way it looks. 
Okay, it's time to show them the might of the Gumoral. Are you ready? Yes, Miss Eliza. I swear on my title as a blackbird that will protect you. The blackbirds are like elves. They've got like weird, uh, weird ears. They're supposed to wear masks. I don't know. There would be a backstory as to why she doesn't wear a mask. Okay, I'm glad to hear it. However, I'm not the, it's, uh, it's not the blackbirds that put my mind at ease. It's you, Kate. <laughs> There we go. Thank you, Miss Eliza. You've always called me by my name ever since the day we first met. So they're sort of like a subclass, the, the elves. I not realise, however, you're more than just a, a Barrett fairy to me. You are Kate, my dearest friend, and one of the Gilmore's uh, uh, glorious knights. You honour me, Miss Eliza. Now let us defeat this enemy with everything we've got. So this is one of the undercurrents. Oh, here we go, Selena. I'll give all my strength for Mana Silesia. This is their, this is their, their uh, faction. Now, this shouldn't be a difficult battle. Um, we just have to be a bit careful that we, you know, don't go crazy. <laughs> so B is going first. It sort of, it's got like a, an, it, like it really depends on how the strength or, or the power of the different units that we actually have coming in. So he has got the the highest level of um, initiative. Um, with I don't know how that sort of worked out, but anyway, he's a extremely powerful unit so he goes first and then the next most powerful is actually eliza and the next most most powerful is kate now these can switch around in between the different groups and so it's it's just played out i can play out any of the bees can play at, at this particular point in time and what i want these to do is i want these to get in behind the dragons i want the dragons out in front and i want these to be essentially behind it so i'm just going to grab this dragon here i'm just going to press k by default it will actually choose move now i'm finding that I used to be going with my mouse to go and select things. But if I just go and press K, I can then just go and click on wherever I want or use the WASD keys. Often that's easier for things that are a little bit further away. So let's just move that one down into that location. And then standby is the next one. So I'm just gonna press K through there. Um, the You'll notice that, um, well, in this case, you won't notice it, but there's like, there's a, like a, well, you can see the red band. That's actually their command radius. And so he's got a very, very big command radius. And so his units actually perform, you know, as per expected, while they're inside his command radius. We don't want them splitting off away from that. So I'm just going to press, it doesn't really matter where these guys end up, so I'm just going to go and press K. I don't want him fighting in the front lines. He's a um, he's a rear fighter, essentially, because he's a, a wizard. So I'm just going to go K, K, move him in front of this guy. I want to keep him off the road because I want the other dragons to make use of the road abilities. Uh, standby for him. It's just a matter of moving. So I oh, see how these guys are now outside of his ability. So we've now got their, they still can move, no problem at all. But if they were fighting, they'd fight with less, uh, less a plomp. <laughs> Let's just move him out of the way. This one's a, this one's a very, very weak unit. So I'll just go and get him out of there. Standby. It's okay. This is another support unit. Move. And I just want to have these at the back and away from everything else. They're not going to be in the in the front of the fights. I want the um, I want the unicorns to ultimately end in just behind the um, the dragons. Now they're not going to come that they're not going to be able to hit these guys just yet. So I'll just get them into a position where even if they come after me, let's just move them to here. And the archer, I'm not going to have a big role to play in this one. We'll just move this one in behind here. So we'll just keep those groups together. Next one across is now the A guys. So we'll now move her. Now she's a, she's going to be a very, very strong fighter as well. So I'll just go to move and we'll just keep her. Um, keep her just slightly off the roads. I mean, I really want the big dragons doing the, doing the work here. So I'll move this dragon in next. To that location. So I'm just using the keyboards for the, all of this. This one's level eight, so we def definitely want this guy le um, leveling up. And these dragons fight very, very well on the plains. Move them across. And this one here, I want to keep this one as a support unit behind the others. Now I'll, I'll move it up to start with. But it's not going to have an attack until I'm ready for it to have an attack. Uh, now we've got our actual support group. Um, the way that we've sort of designated these. We'll just get onto the road. 
and we can see there that a few of those have now been left behind so we just move them up into the command radius so that's just a rock I think it is the demon demons can be quite powerful There's no good evil or anything like that. It's really just comes down to what you sort of pick up. There, there is sort of in the fighting, but not in the actual, in the sensibilities of the actual game itself. Now, we've got a nice forest down this way. Let's just hit these down towards that forest. Yeah, this one here will move. Um, this one's got great movement, so I'll just move that one in close into here. Okay. <laughs> Now they're getting, uh, they're getting everyone prepared for the fight. You can see how they're sticking around the castle. There's actually benefits for doing that. So they're not moving too far away, but I may be able to still draw them out a little bit. Now what I might do is, I'm now gone over the half hour mark, so I better stop here, I think. But next turn I'll come in, and, or next episode, we'll come in and really go into a deep dive as to, as to how to do these, these tactical battles. There's a lot of stuff you can do beyond the basics and there's a lot to explain as well so it's probably going to be another full explanation video really just going through like what the elements are how they impact things um, also there's all sorts of different ways of looking at the actual at the way the game actually does work actually did I do the I don't think I did the items I think I forgot to do the items again in this episode Damn it. Okay, we'll have to do that next episode after this battle. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.